Hey y'all, getting close to Christmas, so I thought I'd do another Christmas video for y'all. Uh, this one's gonna be a cooking one, huh? <laughs> gonna be making some of my special balls and my sweet treat for y'all. So stay tuned. <laughs> Is this thing recording? Hey y'all, I am back in the kitchen today. Gonna cook up a couple of delicious culinary delights for the Christmas season. We're gonna once again make my delicious hawk's balls, hawk sausage balls. But this one, I did one back several years ago and uh, I did my hawk's really hot sausage balls and regular sausage balls. This time I'm just gonna make some regular sausage balls. Uh, just with sausage, biscuit, or fake biscuit. <laughs> Cheap fake biscuit. And uh, what else? And cheese. That's all that's in it. I want to put a little paprika in it. Kind of spice it up a little bit. You know what I mean. So, uh, I got all my Christmas balls. Hey, y'all. 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 Hey, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have to put the oven to 400 degrees. And then we're going to uh, mix in uh, the sausage, a pound of sausage. Uh, I think it's like four and a half cups of Bisquick or baking. I just got baking mix, all purpose baking mix from Walmart. And then uh, you got, uh, I think, like a pound of cheese. I'll look it up again. Hang on. Let's see? Sausage balls. Pound of sharp cheddar cheese. Works best with sharp. Pound of sausage and three and a half cups of bisquick or whatever. You're going to mix them together, roll them into little balls. Put them on a cookie sheet, 400 degrees for 15 about 15 minutes. That's all it is to it, man. Let's get started. That was actually closer to four, but it's all right. It's it don't have it's not rocket science, you know. 16 ounces. That equals a pound. Get them fingers right in there. Now you gotta mix it up. Get them hands in there. You can use some gloves if you want to. I like the feel of it. I like to get that sausage meat all over me. I like to get that ball meat on me. It's important that you get your ball meat nice and mixed up. I like to get in there and get that ball meat all mixed up real good. Basically, you gotta infuse that that ball meat with the cheese and the, and the, and the biscuit stuff. And the, I guess you vegans, y'all, you all can use like vegan meat. I guess I don't know if you make do they make a fake vegan sausage meat? I don't even know. Cause I'm a meat eater, man. I still got I got still got Neanderthal in me. Neanderthal man likes his ball meat. Well, make sure you wash your hands so you don't got the corona on it. I'm probably get flagged now because I said Corona. Maybe I should just say Rona. I better, I better beat that out because, you know, it's like a, that's like saying this, the, 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 the F word or something. Like that, after a few minutes, you'll see that your ball, meat, and cheese, and biscuit is all mixed up together. It'll kind of make a, a ball, you know. You can, it'll hold together. So that's what you want. Important that you don't leave your ball meat behind. I don't like leaving my balls behind, man. Now, once you get your ball meat all mixed up good, I like to take a little bit of the spray, spray my pan. Because you don't want your balls to stick. It's kind of like on that sh uh, movie, uh, uh, what's the name of that movie now? I can't even think of it. Uh, it has David Spade in it. He's like a redneck. Uh, anyway, anyway uh, he, you know, he finds this great big ball of doo-doo. Thinks it's a, it thinks it's a uh, uh, meteorite, you know, that kind of side of the beginning. Anyway, he's got, anyway, he goes to this house and he sees uh, a dog and he's, you know, he's got his balls stuck to the, to the, uh, 
to the porch because it's cold. And the girl was like, let me go get a something to pull that up, you know, whatever. And anyway, he said, like, bring me a spatula, you know, a spatula. So, you know, he shovels up the, the, the dog's balls and, you know, and he said, you might want to, I think he says, you might want to spray the deck with some, some, some Pam or special <laughs> so his balls don't stick anymore. Something like that, you know. It's important that you spray your, spray your, 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 especially when you got a crappy pan like mine that has none of that. And if you got one of them good ones, you know, it ain't all that sticky, don't that non-stick Don't you see some stuff on there? Uh, you, uh, you probably don't have to do that. But with my crappy pans, uh, got to put some stuff on there so my balls don't stick. And then you're going to want to start rolling your balls up into about that size ball. I like to say about a one inch ball. About the size of, about the, good, about the size of a man's balls. I mean, some, of course some men's balls are bigger than others. Some men's balls are smaller than others, but you want to have your balls uniformly shaped so they cook in approximately the same amount of time. Because if your ball meat is undercooked, it's not very good for you. Anyway, you keep placing your ball meat on a zit the cookie sheet. You ain't got to get them perfect. Just, you know, get, get them in your hand. Get your, get, get, your, get you some ball in your hand and just squish them up like that and just stick them on there, you know? Misshapen balls are just as good as perfectly round balls. At least that's what she said. <laughs> Get your ball all on your on your platter. I don't know how many you can get on there. Whatever you can get, how many how many balls you can get on your platter at once. You're gonna want to slip them balls into the oven at 400 degrees. I think I already said that. So slip them balls in there, and what I like to do is get them going, and uh, at about halfway through or so, check them. At about you know eight minutes or so, seven eight minutes, and Kind of take a spatula, and like I said with the with the, the movie, uh, still can't remember the name of it. Put the link, put you put the name down below if you know it, uh, or I will put the name down below. I can't think of that name for nothing. But anyway, David Spade, Redneck. They made two of them, uh, maybe three of them actually. I think it made one later on in life, or whatever. Anyway, anyway, slip your balls into the oven. Uh, like so. Yes, that is a fly swatter. Now what I'm going to do while those balls are in the oven is I'm going to make up another batch of balls on a cookie sheet. Okay, I forgot to put the paprika onto my balls. So I'm going to pull my balls back out of her and Put some paprika on there, okay? Now I'm gonna hope to remember to put the paprika, paprika, paprika onto the balls before they're cooking. Now it's time to slide those balls out of her and slide my other batch of balls into her. Mmm, now look at them golden balls. Gotta let those cool for a second so I can put one of those balls in my mouth. Ooh, can't wait to put one of those delicious balls in my mouth. Oh, Taste test for one of my delicious paprika sausage balls. Mm, look at that. Oh, yes. Mmm. Mm. Nothing like Christmas time and ball meat in your mouth. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Okay, so uh, now I'm going to make a, a sweet treat. The basically called cornflake, uh, peanut butter drops, cookies, or whatever. Uh, but I've used raisin bran. I've used uh, regular cornflakes. I've used uh, oh god, I don't know, frosted flakes. All kinds of stuff. I've used it all. It's all really good. You just need to use kind of a, some kind of cereal that's kind of flaky. On this one, I'm going to be using since uh, I haven't ever used this before. Some uh, I love the cereal though. It's just these almond crunchy honey oats. Uh, it's flakes, but then it has uh, clusters of like oats and some honey and it's crunchy and whatever. So I thought that'd be good. And I'm also gonna mix in some raisins. And, uh, uh, but it basically calls for a cup of uh, Cairo, corn syrup, it don't have to be Cairo, just any kind of corn syrup. A cup of sugar, I'm gonna split mine up between some Truvia and uh, sugar, about half and half. It takes like 12 ounces of peanut butter and four and a half cups of, uh, of some kind of cereal. You know, somewhere in that neighborhood. It ain't got to be exact. None of this, like I said, this is not rocket science. Uh, basically, all you're going to do is going to melt the sugar and syrup, uh, corn syrup uh, in a pot till it becomes uh, liquefied. Then you're going to put it in the peanut butter, stir it in there under a low heat until it gets really gooey and sticky and everything. Then you're going to dump in the corn, the corn flakes or whatever kind of cereal you're using, mix it all up, and then you just take it and spoon it onto some wax paper. It's pretty simple, you know. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Anyway, so let's go here and go over to the oven. And we're going to mix the ingredients over here. A cup of corn syrup. This is some uh, old stuff I've had. I don't know if there's a cup in there or not, so I'll see what we It's only about a half a cup. Okay, so we got about a cup of that. Oh, yeah, excuse me. And that wasn't the fart machine either. <laughs> That's a little over a cup, but eh, yeah, whatever. I probably won't go get it all out of here anyway. Because <laughs> I still got the concept in there, yeah. You're going to want to get this pretty hot because once you've done some corn flakes and stuff in there, uh, then you're just going to spoon it onto the, the uh, wax paper. It's, uh, it's going to want to harden pretty quick, so you got to work pretty fast at that point. So you want to get, you want to get this pretty hot so that it stays liquidified a little quick, a little longer. <laughs> okay? I'm just using a couple of uh, boxes of these little raisins. Uh, it's like uh, an ounce in each one, so approximately two ounces of raisins, but you can put however much you want, really. Uh, and you don't have to have raisins at all if you don't want them. I'm going to add the flake mixture, and you're going to want to stir it all up, coating every morsel possible with the peanut butter, corn syrup, raisin mixture, and it's going to get really gooey and sticky. It's going to be hard to stir. And turn off that heat. As you can see, that is the consistency you want. Now you're going to get some wax paper. And I like to get a little bit bigger spoon for this. And we're just going to take a... And you can make these as big as or little as you want. Probably a little too big on the first one. <laughs> Somewhere in that neighborhood. And basically you're just going to spoon them on there. Any old way you want. Like I said, they ain't got to be perfect. Like I've said, 
two or three times now, this ain't rocket science. You can actually have it in pieces if you want to. It's almost like a like a peanut brittle or something. I don't know. Yum, yum. Had to put some of them up here. I had too many. Anyway, that made about two dozen rather large ones, but like I said, you can make them smaller. Uh, you know, just use a smaller spoon or whatever. Of course, it's gonna you gotta work pretty fast because, like I said, the last ones are getting already starting to get kind of hard work, so it's hard to uh, even get them out. So you gotta do it pretty fast. That's the reason I do it with a bigger spoon because I don't want to sit there all day long <laughs> trying to spoon out the, the last ones, you know, because, like I said, they'll get so sticky or whatever. But all you do now is just let them cool off for a little while. Uh, I mean, uh, I like them when they, I mean, when they get cooled off for a little while and they're still a little bit warm, man, them suckers are, anyway, really good. I'm hoping these are really good with the raisins and stuff in them. I because I've never tried this concoction before, but I'm sure it's probably delicious. So, uh, I'm going to let these cool off for a minute and then I'll do a little taste test for you. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, it cooled off a little bit. So let's give this thing a little try. Mmm, that's so, so delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Two thumbs up on that one. Mmm. Anyway, right. I'm going to talk with my mouth full. Like my mama told me not to. That's it. I'm gonna try to have another video out before Christmas. Hopefully. Maybe on Christmas Day, but I'm not positive. Anyway. Y'all take care. Bye bye. So that's it folks, I guess for this video. I hope you like it. And uh be sure to subscribe, hit the bell. Dang dang dang. All that good stuff. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.